This video explains how to display the labels of a ggplot2 facet plot in bold or italic using the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and for this example we first need to create an example data frame as you can see in lines 2 to 4 of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is appearing at the top right. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains six rows and the three columns X, Y and group, whereby the first two columns X and Y contain numeric values and the third column is a group indicator. Now, if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 6 and 7 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 7. And then in the next step, we can use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot, geonpoint and facet grid, to draw a facet grid plot of our data. So after running lines 9 to 11 of the code, a new plot object called ggp is appearing at the top right. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right by running line 12. And then you can see that we have created a facet plot, which contains three different facets with different labels. Now let's assume that we want to convert these labels to a bold style. Then we can use the plot object ggp that we have just created. And to this, we then need to add the theme function. And within the theme function, we need to specify the strip.text argument. And we need to set this argument to be equal to the element text function. And within this function, we need to specify the face argument to be equal to bold. So after running lines 14 and 15 of the code, our plot is updated. And as you can see, now our labels are shown in bold. Similar to that, we can also show our labels in italic, as you can see in lines 17 and 18 of the code. So the only difference here compared to lines 14 and 15 is that I'm specifying the face argument to be equal to italic instead of bold. So after running lines 17 and 18 of the code, our plot is updated once again. And as you can see, this time the labels are shown in italic. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.